What's good, YouTube? We're called Sakabi here. So, Upchurch has uploaded version 4 of no title. I'm excited for this. I don't know what he's going to do, but it's probably going to be absolutely insane if he's going in on it for a fourth time. I imagine he's going to ramp it up a little bit, so to speak, right? So, I'm excited to check this out, Creek Squad. Thank you for tuning in. Upchurch's birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday to Upchurch. I hope everybody went and wished him a happy birthday. He does so much whenever it comes to the amount of music that he puts out for us. The, the level of work that he puts into this is insane it truly is crazy how great of a work ethic he has when it comes to releasing music very impressive so much inside of the catalog i'm trying to think is it it's over 20 albums isn't it like 24 or something like that i don't know it's a fucking lot there's a lot i don't remember entire like exactly entirely how many but i know it's over 20 i'm pretty sure and that's absolutely insane in the amount of time that he's been around that's so many albums every single year very impressive catalog and you guys know that so thank you for tuning in i appreciate you guys subscribe for me if you're new here join us on our journey i'm celebrating 17 months of no alcohol today so this is a great present for that i'm excited it's going to be a great way to end the night for myself whenever it comes to filming and everything like that. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. We're going to get into this for you. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is no title version for Up Church. And now, the reigning Bruce champion Buffer, huh? of the game. Ryan Upchurch! My guy started this with Bruce Buffer announcing him into the song, bro. <sighs> Listen, AI and everything is out right now, but I wouldn't even put it past Upchurch to just straight up pay Bruce Buffer to actually do that for a song. I wouldn't even put it past it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. <laughs> Church, mother, fucker. This shit for me. <clears throat> Murder this a four time to show them they ain't shit. Who am I talking about? Any bitch that's cracker yapping lips. Murder. He said, murder this a fourth time, eh? <laughs> Good lord, hold on. Murder this a fourth time to show them they ain't shit. Who am I talking about? Any bitch that's crack a yapping lips. Murder this a fourth time to show them they ain't shit. Who am I talking about? Any bitch that's crack a yap their lips. <laughs> <sighs> He said, anybody. Yep. Oh boy, this is about to be real. <laughs> I'm to show them they ain't shit. Who am I talking about? Any bitch that's crack a yapping lips. Murder this a fourth time and there'll probably be a fifth. And that's a gear that all these coattail riders never even hit. Woo! Murder this a fourth time and there'll probably be a fifth. And then he said that that's a gear that they ain't even hit. <laughs> that's a bar. That's a good one. It's a fourth time and there'll probably be a fifth and that's a gear that all these total riders never even hit. Whoa, okay, Transmission right. grinding, he just learning how to shit. This clutch exploded, now his ass never coming clutch for shit. No. <laughs> good God almighty. He's gonna... <laughs> He's gonna use driving a car as a way to diss and throw shots now. <laughs> Hit! Woo! Transmission grinding, he just learning how to shit. This clutch exploded, yeah. now his ass never coming clutch for shit. No! 
His clutch exploded now his ass never coming into shit, he said. Shit. That is fucking wild. Hit. Woo. Transmission grinding, he just learning how to shit. This clutch exploded now his ass never coming clutch for shit. No title for the name of recognition for the ops. Watch this drama queen flip flop and drop and roll like he's acorn cop. He says things that I don't hear anybody else try to say. Like, it's... <laughs> you guys know what I mean. It's like an aura. Like, the way he structures his sentences and the, the references that he just throws in there. Like, acorn, but a corn cob. Like, shit like that. It's so different than what you hear anybody else doing. It's my favorite thing about him. Hey, woo! Transmission grinding, he just learning how to shit This clutch exploded, now his ass never coming clutch for shit No yeah. title for the name of recognition for the ops Watch this drama queen flip flop and No title for the name or recognition for the ops <laughs> When I saw version 3 of no title come out I knew that that's exactly what it was doing Right? I knew that that's, that's why he selected that. And now he's doubling down on it and actually saying it in this one, right? I like that. Never coming clutch for shit. No title for the name of recognition for the ops. Watch this drama queen flip flop and drop and roll like he's acorn cop. I Watch this drama queen flip flop and drop and roll like he's acorn cop. <laughs> mm, but I also saying corny. Okay, yeah, that as well, but like an A court, wow, it's a double inside of there. Could even be a triple. Yeah, it could be a triple too. I need backup, I'm hit, I'm hit. Crisis actor looking ass, nobody aiming at you, bitch. Baby. <laughs> he said, I think, wow, I need help. I think I might be hit. He said, nobody aim before you, you crisis actor, bitch. You crisis actor bitch, nobody's aiming for you, he says. <laughs> crisis actor looking ass, nobody aiming at you, bitch. Baby, hit me one more time like a Britney Spears lick. You love that I'm toxic, biohazard risk, face plaster. Britney Spears bars, man. Britney Spears bars. <laughs> the baby hit me one more time. Like a Britney Spears lick. You love that I'm toxic. Biohazard risk. Face blast oh. across the country like Merle Haggard. Your love gone. Your love gone. Did he say your love gone toxic? Like a biohazard risk? <laughs> Damn, bro. Damn. Like a Britney Spears lick. You love that I'm toxic. Biohazard risk. Face plastered across the country like Merle Haggard and friends. Oh, baby, buy you, baby. You'd sell formula for clicks. Wow. Wow. Face known around the country like Merle Haggard. He said, these references. Church gets on some really, like, different references, like I said before. You never know. He's had Britney Spears, and now he's on Merle Haggard. Blast across the country like Merle Haggard and friends. Oh, baby, right. buy you, baby, you'd sell formula for clicks. Baby, Ooh. buy me, baby, German scholar teach the kids. Baby, buy me, baby. Baby, buy me, baby, German scholar for the kids, he said. <laughs> for clicks. Baby, buy me, baby, German scholar teach the kids. Baby, buy me, baby, I'm talking about you. I didn't see a toddler knocking cause you only three for six I ain't damaged when you talk on live cause you ain't got Oh, cause you only three Did he say you only three foot six, he said? Oh my goodness, bro, hold on Churches He's got an interesting wordplay pocket going on here A lot of cool references It's a lot more complex than the last one Baby, buy me, baby, German scholar, teach the kids. Baby
baby, by me, baby, I'm talking about you, slick I didn't see a toddler knocking cause you only three for six I ain't damaged when you talk on live cause you ain't got no script I guess his parents left him windows up in the backseat of the whip And I- Oh my goodness <laughs> Oh my goodness, church <clears throat> He said it's a problem when you. Oh, he said it's a problem when you get in, up and talk on live because then there ain't no script. He said, "Oh my goodness!" And then he said that you must have got left in the back of the whip by your parents as a kid. <sighs> I'm talking about you, slick. I didn't see a toddler knocking cause you only three for six. I ain't damaged when you talk on live cause you ain't got no script. I guess his parents left him windows up in the backseat of the whip. And I beat E.T. the tip and Park was 106. He blind and furious, but you ain't on no blind fury shit. You being on my level. He blind and furious, but you ain't on no blind fury shit. Shout out blind fury. Church, awesome of you to fucking reference that. Awesome of you to reference that. That was actually involved in a pre previous diss track that happened with Church a few years back. That was something that happened. A Blind Fury situation. I remember that. Blind Fury is one of the greatest rappers of all time. You guys have to check him out if you've never heard him. One of the greatest freestylers of all time. Crazy bars and some of the stuff that he spits. Yeah, you guys would really, if you're into hip-hop, you got to listen to Blind Fury. You're missing out if you haven't and you like hip-hop music. I love the church shouted out Blind Fury. He said, you're blind and furious, but you ain't on no Blind Fury shit. That's a fucking bar. And I beat E.T. the tip and Park was 106. He blind and furious, but you ain't on no blind fury shit. You being on my level only ends as a fucking myth. Financially, your records ain't even... He said you being on my level only ends as a fucking myth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He came for it on this one, man. You ain't on no blind fury shit, you being on my level only ends as a fucking myth Financially your records ain't even making no fucking sense Next time he drops you gonna have to cop it on a floppy disk <laughs> He said financially your records ain't even doing it But he said the next time you drop they gonna have to cop it on a floppy disk <laughs> See what I mean? Who else says bars like that? Like, for real. You have to dig into, like, really underground rap catalogs to find bars like this. Like, actual rap battles and stuff is where you find shit like this. There was this one rap battle I was watching the other day that Daylight was in, and... They, they were, like, fucking building universes against each other in their bars. It was one of the craziest things I've ever heard. I'll have, to, I'll have to remember what that is, and maybe I'll post it up here and just share it or something for you guys, if I can find it again. I don't remember what it was called exactly, because it was a little while ago, a few days ago. But, yeah, that's the only other place that you hear the wild kind of references the church does he has such a unique thought process when it comes to the way he can flip anything like he can flip the simplest things into a shot and that's my favorite thing about the flow pockets he gets into you ain't on no blind fury shit you being on my level only ends as a fucking myth financially your records ain't even making no fucking sense next time he drops you gonna have to cop it on a floppy disk how you hard with all this floppy shit reaction pages fucking begging my ass to check your sloppy disk Oh my goodness, bro. 
He said the reaction pages were begging him to check your sloppy diss. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, there were a few. Yes, sir. There were a few. <laughs> your records ain't even making no fucking sense next time he drops you're gonna have to cop it on a floppy disk how you hard with all this floppy shit reaction pages fucking begging my ass to check his sloppy, sloppy disk dude. i'm like hell yeah awesome skin to get this dude a feature he'd probably sloppy kiss the top of a <laughs> floppy dick he's like <laughs> oh god <laughs> Oh my goodness. I love his bars, dude. Like when he actually, see, the thing about the last one is it was funny and the bars were really fun. And then you get people that are like <clears throat> mad in the comments and shit and they'll be like, what the hell, bro? What was that? This and that. Not knowing the church is like, he's still gonna do more. Like he, you're not going to unload it all at once because you can make more creativity if you do it multiple times. And that's what church is known for. <laughs> so it's like people will get mad and be like, this wasn't your hardest shit ever when church has this in the chamber any day of the week. And this is not even like 50% of what I've heard him do, to be completely honest, because it just depends on the scenario. Like, he's trolling, and he's being funny in these songs that he's putting out right now, right? He's creatively putting together bars with unorthodox kind of references and stuff in them, and using them as shots to what's being said about him inside of the certain circles and everything like that. It's a wonderful approach because he, he can have multiple entertaining songs for us through it and i love that you ain't on no blind fury shit you being on my level only ends as a fucking myth financially your records ain't even making no fucking sense next time he drops you're gonna have to cop it on a floppy disk Man. how you hard with all this floppy shit reaction pages fucking begging my ass to check his sloppy disk i'm like hell yeah awesome skin to get this dude I'm like, hell yeah, awesome skin to get this dude to what? The feature, he'd probably sloppy kiss the top of a <laughs> floppy dick. To get this dude to feature, he'd probably kiss the sloppy top of a floppy dick. Bro, shut up. <laughs> I actually remembered it, too. That's how well he crafted that. It just, like, falls right off of the tongue the way that he... Crafted the syllable place for the, that makes total sense in the floppy disk scheme into the reaction pages telling me to check your sloppy disk and then it comes in with the fucking hell yeah awesome skin and <laughs> to, to get a feature he probably kissed the sloppy tip of a floppy dick that is wild bro that scheme is fucking wild. What a pocket he got into there. No fucking pun intended. Lord have mercy, church. A floppy disk. How you hard with all this floppy shit? Reaction pages fucking begging my ass to check his sloppy disk. I'm like, hell yeah, awesome skin. To get this dude a feature, he'd probably sloppy kiss the top of a floppy dick. I mean, it's, you could tell who the real ones in the industry are. And none of those guys are out there rapping about, uh, you know, American flags with vests on and no guns. <laughs> right, on tanks. Yeah. Selling merch from China. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's crazy. Try to prove he's cold by... The games have begun. <laughs> Church just changed the whole dynamic. When you include dialogue of 
public scrutiny and conversation directly inside of the track as a whole section. And that was about Tom. <laughs> Only gotta say it once. <laughs> Boy, boy, oh boy. <laughs> Deep throat in the goalie's hockey stick till it gets stuck in his body. Hold on, no, wait. He just said he's deep throat in the goalie's hockey stick. Selling merch from China. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. Uh, Try to prove he's cold by deep throat in the goalie's hockey stick wow. till it gets stuck in his body stiff. When I caught him body limp, fucked him up so much he angry at his wife and kids. She like come. I fucked him up so much he angry at his wife and kids. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he said till it gets stuck in the, up in the, there and his body's limp. Hold on, bro. <sighs> this isn't even the craziest the church can be, man. And it's still just so creative. <laughs> Try to prove he's cold by deep throat in the goalie's hockey stick Till it gets stuck in his body stiff When I caught him body limp Fucked him up so much he angry at his wife and kids She like come to bed, it's been three days But he's scrolling Instagram sunk. She's like come to bed, it's been three days And he's just scrolling Instagram <laughs> Oh hell you, I don't, They don't want it they don't want to do this. I don't know about. I don't know about this. <laughs> Church is crazy. <laughs> Cause this is not even close to a hundred percent. He's still being playful. This is. If you followed up Church long enough, you know that he's having fun right now, right? You know that he's just having fun right now. And that's the scary thing about it. <sighs> I'm always beside myself once he actually gets out there like this. Try to prove he's cold by deep throat in the goalie's hockey stick Till it gets stuck in his body stiff When I caught him body limp Fucked him up so much he angry at his wife and kids She like come to bed, it's been three days But he's scrolling Instagram Sun coming up, he only got two lines and a cramping hand I go to bat with grander slams Not slender, you can't slam me He said sun come up and he only got two lines and cramping hands he said he cramped his hands coming up with two lines. That's what he just said there. <laughs> body stiff when I caught him body limp. Fucked him up so much he angry at his wife and kids. She like come to bed. It's been three days, but he's scrolling Instagram. Sun coming up, he only got two lines and a cramping hand. I go to bat with grander slams. Not slender, you can't slam me, man. I go to bat with grander slams. Not slender, you can't slam me, man. Is that a Hold on. Wow. Not slender. You can't slam me, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Check it, though. <laughs> so he's saying that he's not small. Like, he can handle himself in life, right? <laughs> But he's, oh, it's a slender man as well. He's out in the sticks where you get, oh, where you get caught by, like, that's where you would think of slender man and shit like that going down, right? Skinwalkers, slender man, grip is blah, 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 out in the sticks, right? That's, wow. <laughs> Not slender man, but, wow. That is awesome right there. That's a cool double right there. <sighs> wow. Church throws me for a loop sometimes. No pun intended. That's kind of what Slender Man does. So holy shit. Right? <laughs> like come to bed. It's been three days, but he's scrolling. If you guys don't know, Marble Hornets. Look it up. Go find all the videos. 
We take the journey. <laughs> Instagram, sun coming up. He only got two lines and a cramp in hand. I go to bat with grander slams. Not slender, you can't slam me, man. This Peter Puffer suffered with a hook. I'm Peter Pan. I had to cough. My doctor said my ball's too big for fucking pants. Peter Parker into a Peter Pan. And then his balls, the doctor said his balls are too big for his pants. But if he does a fifth one, I'm scared. Not for myself, but for everyone else. <laughs> A cramp in hand, I go to bat with grander slams, not slender, you can't slam me, man. This Peter Puffer sucker with the hook, I'm Peter Pan. He said this Peter Puffer sucker, that's what he said, man, but he made it, it's like a Peter Parker, a fucking pun, but he said a Peter Puffer, like your puffs on the Peter, my God, church. <sighs> you gotta be ready, like whenever church starts doing this. You gotta prepare. You gotta be ready to really catch the bars. I, I'll tell you what. I don't think I'm the first reactor to ever say this. Sometimes breaking down up church's bars and actually really getting into the nitty gritty of all the doubles and the puns, it will physically like start to give you like a a headache a little. Not in a bad way. It's just like you're thinking so deep. Like holy shit. Because you start to find, like, like that one scheme he had in Watts was, like, seven layers, dude. <laughs> He's on one of those modes in this one. I don't know why people don't think that he can have good wordplay or rap. So many people say that. I'm like, that's fucking ridiculous. If you actually jump into the layers, you're going to be pausing every single bar. That's why my videos for church are so damn long sometimes, because it's just that complex, and I really like to appreciate it. I'm one of those people that appreciates great wordplay, and church has a lot going on when it comes to his entendres and his wild analogies. Even the way he rhymes things is unconventional, and stuff that you don't hear anybody else really doing much. I come to bed, it's been three days, but he's scrolling Instagram. Sun coming up, he only got two lines and a cramp in hand. I go to bat with grander slams, not slender, you can't slam me, man. This Peter Puffer suffer with the hook, I'm Peter Pan. I had to cough, my doctor said my ball's too big for fucking pants. Yeah. Everybody's sick of all your fucking rants. I'm colossal, don't even know when I kill your friends, you fucking ants. I went off. Damn. <clears throat> Damn, church. Church, don't play, man. <laughs> Suffer with the hook, I'm Peter Pan. I had to cough, my doctor said my ball's too big for fucking pants. Everybody's sick of all your fucking rants. Everybody's sick of all your fucking rants. I'm colossal, don't even know when I kill your friends, you fucking ants. I I'm colossal, don't even know when I kill your friends, you fucking ants. <sighs> wow. Wow. <sighs> An ant scheme? Really? <laughs> that movie has a very, very deep societal meaning, if you guys didn't know, right? I'm sure you guys, a lot of you guys probably do know what the meaning of the Ants movie was, right? Man. Everybody's sick of all your fucking rants. I'm colossal, don't even know when I kill your friends, you fucking ants. I went off my vocal tongue, cause ladies love the vibrance. Period, muscle cramps, period, you a sissy man, seriously. Jesus Christ, man. He's leveling it up in the middle of it. Well, like towards heading towards the end of the song, he's starting to go even harder and harder. Like he's shifting, like it's like he's shifting the gears of a car. 
And it's funny because that's what he started out the song doing. And now he's actually leveling up his flow as the song goes on and saying more and more wild shit. He's like driving the, and shifting the gears with his style of rapping on the beat. I love it. I love that. Everybody's sick of all your fucking rants I'm colossal, don't even know when I kill your friends, you fucking ants I went off my vocal tongue, cause ladies love the vibrance Period muscle cramps, period you a sissy man See Go off the vocal tones, cause ladies love the vibrance Period You, oh my god Period with the muscle cramps, he says you a sissy man. <laughs> you fucking ants. I went off my vocal tongue cause ladies love the vibrance. Period muscle cramps. Period you a sissy man. Seriously cut the ties and now he thinks I stole his nipple clamps. They sweating me cause I'm sunning them like it's summer. Did you just say the reason he smells like nipple clamps? He's calling them sub submissive. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous, church. <laughs> Period, you a sissy man Seriously cut the ties and now he thinks I stole his nipple clamps man. They sweating me cause I'm sunning them like it's summer camp I'm white lightning, what I do to y'all's the thunder dance Bex I'm white, I'm white lightning, what I do to y'all is the thunder dance What the fuck, bro? <laughs> oh my goodness Like I said, there's levels to what Church can do, and he's actually showing us in the middle of a song right here. He's shifting the gears of how complex and wild everything is up as it goes. He's proving a point, actually. He's saying uh, part three that some people were mad about was just kind of what I can do on this beat, right? And he already said he's going to do a part five. He said, I bet there will be. I don't doubt that. <laughs> period, you a sissy man. Seriously cut the ties and now he thinks I stole his nipple clamps. They sweating me because I'm sunning them like it's summer camp. I'm white lightning, what I do to y'all's the thunder dance. Facts. Always smiling because they know this shit a rap crown. <laughs> he, just, he just had to, like. Facts. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> oh, my God. Church is slick, dude. Church is fucking subtle, man. Facts is a diss. <laughs> Just that word is a diss. If you know, you know. You have to know. Right? We're in the know on here. The thunder dance, Bex. Always smiling cause they know this shit a rap crown made a bone to my skull, so the king. <laughs> Always smiling cause they know this shit a rap. I'm sorry, I was just still cracking up about the facts bar, so I gotta bring it back. <laughs> Thunder dance, Bex. Always smiling cause they know this shit a rap crown made a bone to my skull, so the king attached. Bad to the bone, figure of speech, literally no cap. Bryce Mitchell with a pencil, no tap. Bend a word to the Bryce Mitchell with a pencil. Hold on. Hold on. Church, you don't do this to me often because I get a lot of your references. If I could get my computer to load, right? It's being slow right now. Hold on. Rice Mitchell with a pencil is what he just said, I believe. Hold on. You guys know. If it's a name that I'm unsure of, I like to look it up because that adds a lot of context to what he's saying. Rice. 
Hold on. We're getting it. We're getting there. Hold on. I am not sure. I'm not entirely sure. There's like 25 different people that pop up for it. That's the problem. <laughs> that is the issue, is that there's like 25 people that pop up for it. The Thunder Dance, Bex. Always smiling cause they know this shit a rap Crown made a bone to my skull so the king attached Bad to the bone, figure of speech literally no cap Bryce Mitchell with a pencil, no tap uh, Bindo I think he said Bryce Mitchell, that's why I think I caught it, hold on There it is, an American mixed martial artist Got you, I got you Martial arts reference there See, now we know I just caught it wrong. I was missing one letter. <laughs> Word to the character bone snap. Oh, spine lock so the opponent can't turn back. No title. Oh, Lord. Goodness. Bone to my skull so the king attached. Bad to the bone. Figure of speech literally no cap. Bryce Mitchell with a pencil, no tap. Bend a word to the character bone snap. Oh, spine lock so the opponent. Bend a word till their character bones snap. What? He said bend a word till their character bones snap? Oh boy. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. Church is on another fucking level when he actually goes in like this. Whew. I'm glad that we're here for this, man. This is really great writing. This is really good writing. Bone to my skull, so the king attached. Bad to the bone, figure of speech, literally no cap. Bryce Mitchell with a pencil, no tap. Bend a word yeah. to the character bone snap. Oh, spine lock, so the opponent can't turn back. No title, wow. use the belt to whoop ass. What's WWE to UFC? That shit's funny. That's funny. He threw the WWE to UFC comparison in there. I love it. Fucking. He threw that scheme in there about um having their spine locked so that they can't look back. And then. Hold on, Bryce title. Mitchell with a pencil, no tap. Bend a word to the character bone snap. Oh, spine lock so the opponent can't turn back. No title, use the belt to whoop ass. Spine lock so the opponent can't turn back. Also saying, like, you can't turn, you can't go back from what's been started now, right? He's saying you can't turn back from what I have now started. And I, I love that. That's really creative right there. That's cool. Oh, spine lock so the opponent can't turn back. No title, use the belt to whoop ass. What's WWE yeah. to UFC besides murder on a mat? Everybody. Besides murder on a mat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's facts. Do you guys remember what happened to, uh, it was. CM Punk tried to go do UFC from WWE and it did not work out very well. He's a great, great professional wrestler though. He is a great, great superstar when it comes to WWE. But yeah, that transference generally does not work out well unless they started with MMA first and then switched over to UFC. In which case, they're usually brutal as fuck in the ring, right? <laughs> like Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Lesnar's a monster when he gets in WWE. He'd be genuinely just beating the shit out of people sometimes. <laughs> oh, I got the title when I dropped the no title track. Now they want a title back, but they don't get it till I hit no title max. Mother. He's hitting no title after no title, and now they want their title back, but they ain't getting it until I hit no title max. 
Wow. Wow. What's WWE to UFC besides murder on a mat? Everybody know I got the title when I drop the no title track. Now they want a they title yeah. back, but they don't get it. Everybody knows I got the title when I drop the no title track. Wow. Till I hit no title max. Motherfucker. That's what's up. That's what's fucking up right there, to be completely honest. Those bars were so complex. Very complex. That remix right there is fantastic. Y'all gotta check that out. If anyone on here is new to church and hasn't heard that before, y'all gotta go check that one out. Very, very awesome track, the Beef Remix. This right here had some fantastic bars inside of it, right? Very, very nice doubles. A lot of there was a lot to fucking touch on and catch inside of here, and I probably even still missed some shit that I'm going to catch the next time I listen to it. That's always how it is with a church song, because there's so many layers, but I caught as many as I could for you guys. You guys know I try to catch every single possible bar, especially in songs like this, where that's exactly what it's made for, is the bars. Church, you fucking killed this. It was like driving... And leveling up on the gears as you went into it, the wordplay got more and more insane, and you started saying more and more wild stuff. I like that. I really like that approach to this. And happy birthday again. Damn, man. Creek Squad, thank you guys for tuning in. I really enjoyed this. Thank you for hanging out with me for 17 months of no alcohol. It means the world to me that we can get on here and just have a blast together, enjoy some awesome music. I like to say in every video, you guys know this already, if you're struggling with mental health or addiction problems, please go get professional help. It's available. There are people who want to see you do better. Generally, there are people that have been through it themselves, and that's why they have such good advice and methods of coping with it and helping people to pull themselves out of it is because it's literally from experience in a lot of people's own lives that causes them to get involved in those fields so you can always feel comfortable to go get that help there are people who really understand and want to see everybody doing okay in the world i know it seems chaotic a lot of the time there's a lot of shit in the world that can make you see it from a negative perspective but whenever you look at it from a perspective of the unity that we can have on platforms like this where we can spread love to each other and we can tell our stories of what we've been through and really encourage other people to do that for themselves as well. There's a lot to be positive about despite the negative things in the world and you can't have good without bad. You have to have duality inside of life or everything will fall apart. That's just how things balance themselves out inside of the universe. And it's something that as humans, we have to deal with and be a community with each other about, over and everything like that. You guys know what I mean. Help each other out, man. If you see somebody that's feeling down or anything like that, talk to them. Do something to cheer them up. Give them someone to vent to, you know. Just be there for each other. Help each other out, even in the most difficult situations. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Church, this was freaking awesome. Original video will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Church. Support him. Support all the independent art that we have on the channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples.
leave a like for me, comment those suggestions, subscribe up this way, bang that notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. So I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.